All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to break down the amazing, amazing event we just saw. We just got done watching Worlds Collide 2020 NXT versus NXT UK. We got one of the hottest brands in the world, NXT UK, versus arguably the hottest brand in the world, NXT. Uh, NXT is absolutely killing it here in the U.S., overseas my personal favorite is nxt uk right now uh it's my must watch show every single week uh week in and week out they deliver it's strong performances in the ring a lot of old school wrestling in there just some good old-fashioned wrestling in nxt uk and of course nxt is always burning it up uh but let's get into worlds collide like i said it was a fantastic show tonight really really thoroughly enjoyed it and uh Started off the show with the one, the only, Finn Balor versus uh, Dragunov. This was a phenomenal match. These two were very evenly matched. They're very close in size. Uh, it's just a fantastic match all around. Finn Balor getting the win in the end. Uh, like I said, great match. I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed seeing Finn Balor getting the win tonight. Really, really awesome showing. Dragunov. Busted Finn open across his face. Fantastic stuff going on. Uh, this, I thought, was going to be very, very hard to top uh, moving forward. I was, you know, after seeing this one at the beginning of the show, I was like, you know, what are they going to do next? Um, but then this match right here happened. And to me, this was the match of the night, hands down. Uh, Angel Gonzara, Swerve Scott, Jordan Devlin, and Travis Banks. Fatal 4-Way NXT Cruiserweight Championship was on the line, and from start to finish, it was absolutely amazing, folks. If you don't watch this event, go back and watch this match. Um, Angel Garza, the, the reigning 205 Live Cruiserweight Champion, uh, phenomenal performance. This is one of the first times I actually got to see him in the ring. Really phenomenal performer, but... Uh, Travis Banks over here on this side here. Travis Banks really stole the show for me tonight. He reminded me a lot of a, uh, really of a Chris Benoit. And, and I really enjoyed watching him in the ring tonight. He had several spots that were just absolutely phenomenal. He looks strong. Uh, he's got a brilliant, brilliant career moving forward. But the main story moving out of the match is the Cruiserweight Championship changed hands and went to this man over here. Jordan Devlin. Absolutely phenomenal performance. Uh, Shawn Michaels said he was the guy out of the NXT UK to make sure that you keep an eye on moving forward. And tonight just solidified that because his performance was absolutely amazing. All four of these guys really put on one hell of a show. I encourage you to go back and watch this match. Again, Jordan Devlin walking out your new cruiserweight champion going into 2020 which brings us to this match a little old school a little new school but we had mustache mountain versus diy this was a great match start to finish had a lot of really good fun spots in it uh, at the beginning of the match we had johnny gargano versus tyler Bate, and the two of them kind of went back and forth in a classic grappling style match uh, it went on for a couple minutes before they both respectively tagged their partners then we got champa and we got uh seven in the ring and it was absolutely amazing these two started off in a pose off uh you know we we did the uh Ciampa tried to do the Mustache Mountain twirl at the end. Uh, Trent Seven stopped him, showed him how it's really done, and then they posed off in a flex off. And dude, Ciampa is just absolutely freaking ripped. It was amazing when he, you know, held up the guns for the gun show, and then Seven went back at him. Uh, really good spots. A lot of spots that'll just make you flat out laugh out loud. Uh, a lot of respect in the ring for this match. It ended with a bunch of hugs and a bunch of handshakes. And the crowd was just absolutely nuts for this one. Uh, all three matches up to this point had we this is awesome chance going on. And they truly were. Three fantastic matches to start the card off. And it got even better as we moved forward. 
The next match was for the NXT Women's Championship. Uh, we see Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley. This was a phenomenal match. Uh, Tony Storm, of course, has had Ripley's number for, for the uh, past year or so, uh, but she didn't have it tonight as Ripley remains your NXT Women Champion. So that leads us up to the match I was looking forward to the most. We got the Undisputed Era, baby, versus Imperium. This is my faction. This is my favorite faction in WWE right now. Actually, in the world of professional wrestling, Imperium is where it's at. So we had a classic four-on-four -four match going into this. It quickly turned around to a three-on-four match as Wolf got injured early on, taken out. So it was literally three-on-four for the entirety of the match, and boy, did they get it on. This was hard hitting from start to finish. The ring general, Walter, was absolutely amazing. Adam Cole, phenomenal as always. Uh, really, really good match. I definitely encourage you to go back and watch this one. Awesome match, hard hitting, and it ultimately in the biggest shocker of the night, in my opinion, because I was so positive that the Undisputed Era was going to go over Imperium gets the win. Here we see Walter holding his NXT UK Championship high above his head as the three of them took out the four members of Undisputed Era. Phenomenal show, folks. Get on your WWE Network. Go back and check it out. But before you do, make sure you subscribe right here on YouTube on Powerbomb Nation. Like us here on Facebook, Powerbomb Nation. Look us up, follow us, put us in your news feeds. we got a great 2020 moving forward, folks, and I can't wait to see you again.